Hey guys, welcome back. It's Dirty Max LML. Um, today we're going to be working on the kitchen, but I wanted to share with you guys a couple Instagram video and photo that I have on my Instagram page, Dirty Max LML. Rotor razor saw. Um, this thing is helping out quite a bit. Um, I didn't know what to think about it at first, but this thing is actually really amazing. Uh, cutting in right here. Um, of course, you know, uh, if you're cutting into the drywall, you're cutting along this seam right here um, with a drywall knife. And um, it's really easy with that saw, the um, rotor razor, to uh, just kind of cut right in the middle of this line. And uh, it makes it really easy. It's a lot faster than chiseling it by hand. So if you guys do see this, um, this was actually a gift. It was given to me. Um, my stepmom, Marty, gave this to me. Uh, shout out to her. Thank you very much. It's really coming in handy right now. All right, we have two holes down and we still have all this to go. So it's going to be a long night. This tool, lifesaver. All right, so we are using the all-purpose joint compound and uh, this stuff comes already pre-mixed up and ready to go, but you do need to, and I didn't know this, shout out to my cousin Chris. Uh, we did a few, or actually one job together, and uh, I've done a few other small ones, nothing large, but uh, you gotta mix this stuff up really good, get all the air bubbles out, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I don't hate guys, Rayobi is a really, really good brand as well. Um, I actually use Rayobi quite often. Um, my Milwaukee's, my DeWalt. Um, Milwaukee's my favorite, DeWalt's my second favorite. Um, I like DeWalt a lot, it's amazing made in the USA and not only that they're really really good tools um, Milwaukee has a little bit a one up on I think the uh, competition but um, yeah DeWalt made in America I mean for me that's what's gonna sell it all right so right here we just sprayed the great stuff spray foam out of the can and uh, that is just a protective layer for any unwanted guests or excessive heat or cold we just put in the installation right now, and uh, the insulation that we used was three and a half inch. I would definitely recommend that size. It seemed like it was gonna be a little thin, but um, in these high concentrated areas that have a lot of pipes, um, fittings, and uh, copper pecs, um, it seemed to work out perfectly. Actually, uh, anything any thicker, I don't think would have worked very well. So um, if you have an area that uh, uh, has a lot of tight spaces, I would definitely go with a three and a half inch. That way you can cut it to fit. Um, you can stuff it into corners uh, as needed. Okay, so what we have done is put the green board on the wall. Um, those scrap pieces of 2x4 that you see on there actually are going to be a ledge for the countertop and that's at 36 inches. That was there previously and I left it there because it was at 36 inches. But as you guys can see, um, all the holes are now filled up. Um, we sanded it down multiple times put plenty of different layers on there um, now it's perfectly smooth it's just the way it's supposed to be and uh, we're gonna start mixing up mud all right guys well something to note um, I just tried mixing this batter um, up with the DeWalt and this is the brushless 20 volt uh, 20 volt max that's the new brushless man brand new um, I was not able to mix this on its lowest setting. I have it on the lowest setting on the drill mode. And this thing keeps shutting out. Well, I guess it's a safety feature, but the problem is, is this Milwaukee Fuel brushless is able to mix this batter just fine. Just like that guys this other one wouldn't do it um, that's just something to note um, I'm sure the uh, the Battle of DeWalt and uh, Milwaukee you know everybody's gonna have their uh, their comments but uh, it is what it is guys I think we have it to a good consistency now so uh, Milwaukee fuel man this thing's amazing all right guys we got the hopper and the mud the mud is mixed perfectly this is the hopper right here and uh, this is the texture pro this is what the inside looks like. You fill it full of mud and you, uh, you spray away, man. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the very first time that I tried spraying mud, 
uh, it came out horrible. And uh, my cousin Chris uh, did this quite a bit uh, for a living. And uh, he was looking at me like, what in the world did you do, man? And uh, it was really bad, it was horrible. So I'm hoping that this time it's gonna be a little bit better. All right guys, wish me luck. All right guys, we are all masked off now. We are ready to spray uh, the texture on the walls. So we're gonna uh, mix up the batter and uh, put the texture on. We'll see you guys in a minute. All right guys, so we just textured. Everything came out really good this time. I think the key is making sure you uh, get all the little bumps out by mixing it really, really well. All right, we have two coats of paint on. Um, everything looks fantastic. Um, even though most of these walls you're not gonna be able to see, um, but you know it's nice to have a consistent background to work with. We're gonna be putting a uh, backsplash on there so it's gonna look really nice. But um, for right now, guys, um, it's coming out good. And uh, we're gonna have to take a little break for the weekend because we have sports with the kids. But anyways, we'll be back at it on Monday. Well, all right, guys, we're gonna have to take a break from the kitchen. Uh, we have some volleyball games to get to here in Santa Barbara. We're gonna go hit the Shoreline Cafe. Uh, grab some tacos. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. If you want to see an update, please subscribe. If you guys like the video, hit a thumbs up. Thanks.